Greetings, Soulswind here and welcome to Let's Play Train Station Renovation. In this episode, it is a bonus video where we'll explore a few things. One will feature the different upgrades to the office as we move along the missions. Two will feature the miniature train system. And three, you see this is version 1.0.1.1 and there's a sandbox mode. So I'll roughly talk a little bit about the sandbox mode but not go into too much of a detail. And I think that's it for the updates thus far. So firstly, we start with the office upgrades. The following is a side-by-side -side comparison of the upgrades to the office as we move along the missions.
So that's it. There were some minor improvements, some of them not as visible as others. One of the times when I started noticing was this chair and maybe even the rug, but um, there hasn't been any changes in the ceiling. It's always the same. So that's about it. But um, just in case, if I didn't address this, we cannot change anything on here. But we can exit from here, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. There were other changes in the miniature room, but we'll keep it to the next segment of this bonus video. I'd say it's pretty interesting how they upgraded the office and these minute details, like improving things slowly, you know, wall decorations, having a chair even, having a rug. I think there was like, you know, the addition of the mouse pad too, and then some plants and, you know, the espresso machine chairs and all that stuff. Of course, the first thing we had was to get a table instead of using those um, boxes or cottons for our map. So that was really nice. Obviously, ignore the tool upgrades because that's dependent on the player's choice. So it will not be the same if you make a different decision. This is our miniature, all unlocked, 100% And let me just quickly introduce you to the various parts first.
Let's start with the cargo train. Ah, if only I had the nice one though. Didn't I have that? Really? No? I did not? Are you serious? I mean, if anything, this looks way nicer. But then again, I'm really disappointed. I wanted the sleek train. I don't have it. Oh well. Passenger. Flat car. Open wagon. Second passenger. Uh, oh, okay, you know what? Let's arrange it nicely. Third class also. Um, this one. The open ones. Then... Uh, we cannot even have longer trains. Uh, okay, these boxcars don't look nice anyway. We might as well go for something looking nicer. And create. Can we create one more? Uh, obviously not. You know what? Maybe we can just move it along and we'll see. So, there. It is very giddy though. The movement per tap of the button is way too high and that causes some discomfort. At least for me. No, we decelerate backwards. I want to go to the original path first. <laughs> X. Uh oh, it's already going haywire. Yep, it's already going haywire. Okay, reset. Oh, hang on, hang on, come on, let me let me change this. Good. Okay. I hope it doesn't go bad though. Cause something already happened there. Consider it connected, good. Now we'll need to let you go there. Because I want to test that part again. Yeah, it doesn't feel nice, right? I mean, it doesn't feel very nice. If only we have the very beautiful locomotive to, like, pilot this. I mean, to drive this or pull this. Yeah, this is very disturbing. We need to go higher like that. But it's like WASD key, so that makes it, you know, like basically functions like WASD, so that sort of makes it a little complicated. Because I would have preferred if, you know, like, I don't know, actually, it's okay. I don't even know what would be a good implementation here. Okay, it's fine. It's gonna go there, and it should bring us to where we need to see. Yep, this one. Ah, how did it even happen? Wait, what? Decelerate, okay. How did that even happen? We did not even see it. Oh, you know what? That was the problem. I'm pretty sure that was a problem. Yeah, you have to have this turned here. If not, there's a problem. Although, in real life, it doesn't apply. In real life, it's okay, I think. Yeah, that's why. So we cannot assume that it's gonna be fine. This is okay. We need this to go forward all the way. So it's gonna go there. Go through here and then encounter that region which had a problem previously. That's a little wobbly over there. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, maybe we need to decrease speed or something. Decrease speed a little bit, yeah. 
Oh, okay. So now, if you decrease speed, then it just don't even go through anymore. Because it sort of derails it. So you cannot have it move too fast, neither can you stop entirely around here. Because that derails that thing. Although it shouldn't have derailed at all, but it just did, so... Oh wait, can we not change the path on the fly? Ah, uh, now that is bad. Okay, we should be able to change the path on the fly, you know? We really should have been able to change the path on the fly. Like, you know, maybe have the mouse still be able to click. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point? You can't even do anything. Let's use the arrow key to test it out. Mm-hmm, doesn't work. I wonder what would be the best way to feature this. Most likely still overview because it's kind of weird if you don't do that. Like in this view, you don't really see the train, you just see ourselves moving across. And you don't even get to change the tracks and whatnot. So we'll just run a successful round back and we'll go change back to the normal view. Please, please make this work. Next time round we can go up there. I think that'd be really cool. See? You mean, I mean like, you know, we should be in the view of the cabin or the cab and not really fly over like that because that's so weird. See? See how wobbly it is? Yeah. And this part is where the problem is, okay? So, I'm gonna slow down a little bit more. Okay, slowly negotiate this area. Yep, I think everything has gone through. Please tell me everything has gone through. Slowly, but definitely. Slowly, slowly. Even if it does go back a little bit, it's okay. Now I think everyone has gone through. Come on, give it more power. More power. Good. Good. All of them should have gone through. We'll stop at the station and we'll see uh okay never mind whatever there should be no derails hopefully okay decrease speed so you see what is so weird about it now okay now we gotta reset speed and even decelerate now decelerate uh too late too late whatever Here. I wonder where this leads. Imagine not being able to decelerate on time and then just derailing. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Now, we should really change the view now. And it leaves us here, but of course, it leaves us there. Okay, flying camera. Yep, it's already derailed very badly, just that we don't see it. Okay, we'll just experience with one tunnel, alright? Now let's see it go through this region. There's water, seems to be flowing. <laughs> of course. Handle in this manner. 
right, of course. Maybe it will be improved later, don't know. Oh my god, please. Okay. There, you see that? Alright, that's it. I did not even touch it, but it just got broken. So be it. I'm done. Uh, the train simply decided to derail suddenly at 27 kilometers per hour. Sure. That's it for this region. We'll leave the train like that. Now let's leave here. Did these upgrade as we move along though? Ooh. Okay, so there are some mementos as we move along, it seems. Like that's the last one. Level 10 could have been below. I don't know. Like, um, this is one, this is two, this is three, you know, and then that's Railtown, that's, I don't know what that is, Cleanville, Philville, Railtown, or I don't know, Anvil, and, uh, whatever. Yeah, some of these places. This Anvil is one. This is the one with the, um, wash. Uh, this is the one with the... Don't know what. That's the turntable. That's the Carl C. And that's the last one. Before the last one, I mean. The snowy one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth one, not there. And that's it. Hey, I must say though, the miniature train set was quite beautifully built, but the actual handling of the train movement and, you know, like processing the trains pass throughout this entire miniature set is somewhat lacking and also only one train come on it's a huge huge map there could have been more trains that run autonomously without you having to control the speed although you probably can you know select like focus on this train and control it and maybe the the, the chase mechanism you know the camera chase camera can be done better so that it's more intuitive so that concludes this segment, I'll see what I can find out in the sandbox mode. See you back here in a bit. Before we enable the sandbox mode, one thing to note, you have to save your progress right here. If you don't save your progress, you enable the sandbox mode, you won't be able to go back to your previous progress unless you load a save game. So it will still remain sandbox mode. You click the sandbox mode to enable it, but clicking it again doesn't seem to disable sandbox mode. And the game did not tell me to save my game. Thankfully, I've completed everything and after every mission, I would save the game. So my save game is still there, but it's very important to note that if you want to enable the sandbox mode, please save your game first then click on the sandbox mode. Once you're done with the sandbox mode, load your save game. Please let me know if I'm wrong, but based on version 1.0.1.1, this was what I observed. So in version 1.0.1.1, there's a sandbox mode. If you click on the sandbox mode and you go back into perhaps here, because everything is upgraded, so maybe... Oh, okay, if it's not upgraded though, it's infinite, so you get to upgrade. Okay, next, if you go here, Initially, you cannot reset, you cannot renovate like that, but now you can. So you can just click on some of these and then you can go back inside and continue renovating. And we'll see if there are any more good furnitures added. Wow, all empty, eh? All empty. Of course. Now let's just see if there's anything new. Yeah, if we click on that, just brings us back here. <laughs> so, of course, we can just use the sandbox mode and just, like, maybe do this. Oh, you can see from the bottom toolbar that we did have all our things, uh, like, still there. But then it says that we have to, you know, like, redo all this stuff. If we were to exit... Basically, in finite money, stars, we get to upgrade the tools, we get to buy anything we want. Now, I messed things up a little bit. Let's uh, go back and renovate. Oh, it's all for renovation. So if we were to go back inside, we probably would see all those benches there. 
Yeah. So our previous progress is still locked. We don't get to access it. So let's say if they did add something really nice that you want to add into your previous stations. Unfortunately, you cannot load your progress. You have to redo everything. So it's all yellow right now. You have to re-renovate everything with the advanced tools and all that stuff. You know, all the missions we do with the advanced tools and everything because it's all infinite. So you got to do that. But generally, everything else seems to be the same. I've looked through a few categories of them, and there's no new ones, especially the electronic set and uh, chairs. So, that's it. But if you want to exit the sandbox mode, you can click on it, and I don't think it really does work. Yeah, I'm right. So, you have to reload your save game, which means that you have to save first before you can enable the sandbox mode. And the game doesn't seem to tell you that. It would be good if the game can tell the players, you know, you're about to enable sandbox mode. In order to exit sandbox mode, you will have to reload the game. So would you like to save your game now? That would have been really helpful. And that's it. So... Next part, we'll be completing all the missions without upgrading our tools, which means I'm not going to decorate it very nicely, just complete all the necessary tasks, put the furniture everywhere, just buy and place them, and that's it. So I'll speed through the entire 10 missions, I'll meet you at the end, and we'll see if we get the achievement that says do not upgrade any tools. I loaded the mission that says tutorial complete, so here, no tool upgrades. Alright, see you back here after 10 missions. So, for one star is 50%. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yep, still a mess. Don't care. <laughs> it, it's a mess. I don't think we need to care about this, right? Right, okay, I'm not going to show. I think it's so simple. Okay, let's go.
seems like a glitch though. <laughs> See? <laughs> Suddenly you have more chairs. <laughs> Look, why would there be five chairs out of this? Kinda weird. <laughs> what happened? Minus <laughs> minus two chairs. <laughs> Wait, what? How even? Uh <laughs> Okay, so obviously this is a glitch here. <laughs> alright, alright, sure, sure. Definitely a glitch there. Right, let's continue. Okay, so again, 50% good enough. Let's go. Let's go outside first. Right, let's go. <laughs> Five minutes, wow. Okay. Oh no, these barrels, GG. That means we don't care anymore. Don't even have to build anything. There we go. Bye bye. Finish. 51%. 8 minutes. Yeah, because of the barrels. Obviously. Okay, just a quick check. Our tools are still elementary tools. Alright. Let's continue go here so for the mission just now i think we really should have perhaps like gone for the decorations instead of completing all those tasks like moving the different barrels and cleaning up the dirt and whatnot as long as we get 50 percent i think it's good enough but then again i would at least want to complete the tasks so that's what i want to use for my approach when trying to aim for the achievement that says no upgrades There. Okay, 50%. We unlock the next reward. So, I don't think I'll be adding anything to recycle anything because there's no point in doing that. So, let's see. Next reward, the <laughs> miniature. So, if you don't unlock it, you don't have a very good miniature to work with. So, that's not very nice. Right, let's go. So, 451. Next time round, I'll try to just leave immediately once it's rewarded.
Okay, wow. We needed to do more for this map, eh? We had to spend some money for that and it wasn't enough. Anyways, it's okay. 12 minutes, that's a long while. Let's go. Another thing I need to highlight is that the number of tasks we need to do to get 50% has been increasing because there have been more and more things throughout the entire mission per mission to get to 50% to complete 50%. Okay, task completed. Uh, GG. Still have a lot of things to do. Please, do we need to repair? Ah, we need to repair a lot of them. I don't think I'll be spending time repairing them. Instead, I'll just be building things and whatnot. So let's go back and clean and build instead of repair. Because repair really takes up a lot of time. Okay, 50%, let's go. Oh, 10 minutes. Looks like this part means we have to wait, or maybe we can just go ahead first, you know? Just go into the water and start cleaning things up a little bit. I try to avoid spending money, because the last one requires a lot of money anyways, so I'm a little worried. Oh, I just realized if we had done this cleaning just now, it would have really saved a lot of money. Because this part will give us quite a bit of progress too. Looks like we got a build. <laughs> Dismantle the pump? Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, that was good enough, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go. We did spend a little bit of money, unfortunately, but seven minutes, pretty good.
Okay, finally, task complete. So that's considered finished. I wonder what's the next percent though. Oh, 70%. Whatever. I don't think it's enough for me, so forget it. I'm just gonna leave here. 66% is fine. We don't need the 9,000. Let's go. Okay, so before we go to the last one, see? No upgrades. Let's go. I am so glad we don't need to clean anything. Let's just leave and complete the tasks first. And then see how much percentage there is before we continue with the rest of the building and whatnot. There. Dismantle scaffolding. 12 chairs, 8 cans, food, 6. Furnish the station. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Please tell me it's not going to be like. I have to complete everything. Then this will give me the 100%. Yeah. Can we finish and then get the achievement? Let's see. Record it, right? Let's go. Achievement. Achievement. I finished the mission. Do I need to go through the credits? Yes, we got the achievement. Wait, what? There's a wall with tool upgrades. Yes, indeed. We got the achievement and my mouse happened to be there and covered this glorious appearance. Well, at least we got it and it doesn't seem to affect our office upgrades. Like, you know, having um, all the stars doesn't seem to affect anything. Of course, inside there we have a lot of missing things. And that's it. So this Let's Play series is ending here. I'm very certain there's going to be a lot more updates, maybe hopefully more furnitures and objects to buy and choose from, and maybe fix some of the existing bugs that have been highlighted, as well as a miniature train set. It could definitely use some improvements in several different aspects, such as the chase camera, the views, the random derailing, the changing of the tracks when you're in pilot mode, allow that because that would be really helpful. Have multiple trains running at the same time and let them just move autonomously and choose their speed autonomously. Have the trains not derail simply because the train track wasn't switched appropriately, just simply move across, especially during track merging. But I think that's all I have to say for now. Maybe someday we'll revisit this Let's Play because it is still being updated, but that depends on a lot of different factors. But for now though, I would want to conclude this Let's Play series. 
So, thank you very much to Live Motion Games, Playway SA, as well as one of my YouTube community who gave me access to this game so that I could let's play the game and experience it and give my opinions and my take on this game. Once again, thank you. I really look forward to some of these updates even if we may not revisit the game but it would be nice to see the updates especially the bug fixes and all that stuff that I've just mentioned. But for now though, I think that's it for the Let's Play series. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.